I started writing Young Enough after uh, a tour that we did with Wolf Parade and after a few LCD sound system shows that I saw at Brooklyn Steel when they did a residency there. And there were two songs that kind of served as the inspiration. One was Wolf Parade's I'll Believe in Anything and the other was LCD Sound System's All My Friends. Um, both songs have just a larger than life quality to them and when they play them live and when you hear them on the album, it's just, uh, they, both songs just give me chills every time. And I set out, I was like, I want to write a song like that, that has that effect on people. Um, and specifically James Murphy's ability to kind of take sometimes a simple idea and expand it into an entire song, sometimes like seven or eight minutes that remains interesting and keeps you engaged the entire time. I've always been fascinated with, with his ability to do that. Um, so I thought, what's the simplest idea I can think of to, to occur through the entire song unchanging? And it's that kind of quarter note unchanging guitar riff uh, just on the root of the, the key. And it was definitely a really difficult process writing that song and there were many different iterations and it evolved and it devolved sometimes and it ultimately took kind of blowing it up and collaborating with my sister to, you know, kind of make it the song that it is today. Yeah, I, I just will never forget when you started telling me about Young Enough and Sam basically came to me and was like, there's this song that I'm writing and it has one unchanging chord the entire way through and I just know it's gonna be the best song on the album. And at the time I was so pissed off at him because I was like, that that's so much pressure to go into writing a song with I feel like uh, you know I was already like intimidated by the song before we even started working on it um, you know but my brother and I are both pretty neurotic people um, and I think it was really hard for us to put ourselves in a scenario where we, were, where we were actually sitting next to each other and coming up with melodies and you know saying oh that's working that's not working but you know th this was our first time ever doing that and it felt like it worked really well pretty quickly um, and then Sam is just like a masterful arranger and I think very quickly saw the light with the song and was able to figure out what needed to happen. And then in terms of lyrics, you know, usually Sam and I don't really always talk very much about what the lyrics to his songs will be like, but I remember him saying to me that he wanted the lyrics to the song to feel really relatable, just like something that anyone could plug into and, um, and get where I was coming from. And so I started off from, you know, that place already when I started writing lyrics. And I remember feeling so nervous to start in on writing lyrics because I already loved the song so much. So I was like, oh, I just don't want to ruin it. But um, I wrote pretty much all of the lyrics in a car ride uh, from Connecticut, from our parents' house to Northampton, Massachusetts. Uh, and it just felt like it kind of fell into place really easily. And, and of all the lyrics on the record, I think I'm most proud of the lyrics to this song.